we gather in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord of mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who constantly raise up in your church new examples of virtue, grant that we may follow so closely in the footsteps of the Bishop St. Alphonsus in his zeal for souls as to obtain the same rewards that are his in heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. In the beginning of the reign of Zedekiah, king of Judah, in the fifth month of the fourth year, the prophet Hananiah, son of Azur from Gibeon, said to me in the house of the Lord, in the presence of the priests and all the people, thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, I will break the yoke of the king of Babylon. Within two years, I will restore to this place all the vessels of the temple of the Lord, which Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, took away from this place to Babylon. And I will bring back to this place Jeconiah, son of Jehoiakim, king of Judah, and all the exiles of Judah who went to Babylon, says the Lord. For I will break the yoke of the king of Babylon. The prophet Jeremiah answered the prophet Hananiah in the presence of the priest and all the people assembled in the house of the Lord and said, Amen. Thus may the Lord do. May he fulfill the things you have prophesied by bringing the vessels of the house of the Lord and all the exiles back from Babylon to this place. But now, listen to what I am about to state in your hearing and the hearing of all the people. From of all the prophets who were before you and me prophesied, war, war and pestilence against many lands and mighty kingdoms. But the prophet who prophesies peace is recognized as truly sent by the Lord only when his prophetic prediction is fulfilled. Thereupon the prophet Hananiah took the yoke from the neck of the prophet Jeremiah and broke it, and said in the presence of all the people, Thus says the Lord, Even so, within two years, I will break the yoke of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, from off the neck of all the nations. At that, the prophet Jeremiah went away. Sometime after the prophet Hananiah had broken the yoke from off the neck of the prophet Jeremiah, the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah. Go tell Hananiah this. Thus says the Lord, by breaking a wooden yoke, you forge an iron yoke. For that says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, a yoke of iron I will place on the necks 
of all these nations serving Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, and they shall serve him, even the beasts of the field I give him. To the prophet Hananiah, the prophet Jeremiah said, Hear this, Hananiah, the Lord has not sent you, and you have raised false confidence in these people. For this, says the Lord, I will dispatch you from the face of the earth. This very year you shall die, because you have preached rebellion against the Lord. That same year, in the seventh month, Hananiah the prophet died. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, teach me your statutes. Lord, teach me your statutes. Remove from the way of falsehood and favor me with your law. Lord, teach me your statutes. Take not the word of truth from my mouth, for in your ordinances is my hope. Lord, teach me your statutes. Let those turn to me who fear you and acknowledge your decrees. Lord, teach me your statutes. Let my heart be perfect in your statutes, and I be not put to shame. Lord, teach me your statutes. Sinners wait to destroy me, but I pay heed to your decrees. Lord, teach me your statutes. From your ordinances, I turn not away, for you have instructed me. Lord, teach me your statutes. Please stand. live on bread alone, but on every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus heard of the death of John the Baptist, he withdrew in a boat to a deserted place by himself. The crowds heard of this and followed him on foot from their towns. When he disembarked and saw the vast crowd, his heart was moved with pity for them, and he cured their sick when it was evening, the disciples approached him and said, This is a deserted place, and it is already late. Dismiss the crowd so that they can go to the villages and buy food for themselves. He said to them, There is no need for them to go away. Give them some food yourselves. But they said to him, Five loaves and two fish are all we have here. Then he said, Bring them here to me. And he ordered the crowds to sit down on the grass, taking the five loaves and the two fish, and looking up to heaven, he said the blessing, broke the loaves, and gave them to the disciples, who in turn gave them to the crowds. They all ate and were satisfied, and they picked up fragments left over, twelve weaker baskets full. Those who ate were about five thousand men, not counting women and children. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Napakinggan po natin. Nung nabalitaan ni Jesus na ang kanyang pinsan na si Juan Bautista ay namatay, siya ay bumukod, pumunta sa isang lugar kung saan siya ay nag-isa at nagdasal. Alam niyo po sa mga pagkakataon, may mga pangyayari sa buhay natin na tayo malulungkot, na tayo ay nangangailangan ng lugar 
kung saan gusto natin mapag-isa. At tatanungin natin ang sarili natin, ano nang sunod? Ano na? Kaya may tinuturo sa atin na minsan, kailangan mo magpahinga para makapagmuni-muni, para makapag-isip-isip, para magdasal, para kausapin ang sarili, para tingnan kung anong nangyayari, at para isipin kung anong susunod na dapat natin gawin. Hindi po ba may mga pagkakataon sa buhay natin na gano'n ang gusto natin gawin? Marahil ang iba sa inyo, ang pagpunta dito ay panahon para makapagmuni-muni. Panahon para makapagdasal. Panahon para magtanong kung anong susunod na gagawin. Pero sana, ang tatanungin mo, kung hindi kung ano yung sagot, kung ano yung susunod mong dapat gawin. Pero Lord, ano bang dapat kong gawin? Kaya nga pagkatapos nito, sinagot agad ng Panginoon kung ano yung dahilan, kung anong dapat susunod na gawin ni Jesus at anong kanyang nakita. Mga tao na gustong makinig sa Kanya, mga tao na gustong gumaling, mga tao na nauuhaw sa salita ng Diyos, mga taong nagugutong. Dahil kung ang ating Panginoon ay nanatili, nanatili lamang doon sa kabilang dako kung saan siya lamang mag-isa, at nanatili sa pag-iisip ng kalungkutan. Paano na lamang yung mga taong umaasa sa Kanya? Paano na sila? Pero sana po, tingnan natin kung ano ang ginawa ng mga taong lumapit kay Jesus. <clears throat> Ano bang kanilang ginawa? Nung sinabi ni Jesus, nabigyan sila ng makakain. Pero sabi ng mga apostol, tanging ilang-ilang tinapay lamang at isda ang meron kami. Gusto silang paalisin ng mga apostol. Pero sabi ni Jesus, wag. Parang sinasabi lamang ni Jesus, ano yung meron ka? Ano yung kaya mong ibigay? Kahit konti, kahit katiting, kahit kulang. At pagkatapos nung ibinigay ng mga alagad, kung anong merong konti na meron sila, Jesus bless them. At pinadami ang tinapay at ang isda. At pagkatapos, kinuha kung anong kailangan nila. Kaya't meron pang mga natira. Kaya't siguro, yun yung mga kailangan nating tingnan. Para kasi sa mga pagkakataon na mauubos ka, na mapapagod ka, kailangan mong makita na mayroong dadalhin din sa'yo kahit konti yung mga taong gusto mong tugunan. Hindi lang ikaw, ng bigay ng bigay, mapapagod ka. Kaya pinapaalala lang na kung tayo ay lalapit sa Panginoon, Anong konti ang daladala mo? Anong konti ang meron ka na pwede mong ialay sa Kanya at buong puso naniniwala at nagtitiwala na kung anuman ang meron ka ay pagpapalain niya at magkakaroon ka ng sapat. May mga pagkakataon na pwede kang lumabis, pero sana 
ang kunin mo lang ay sapat. Dahil may nangangailangan pa. May mga tao na marami pang pangangailangan. Marahil siguro ikaw, ito lang ang kaya mo. Ang sapat para sa iyo. Pero yung iba, meron pang mas pangang, may pangangailangan na mabigat. Kaya ang paanyaya sa atin, kung ano meron ka, ialay mo sa Panginoon at pagpapalain ka. Pero kung anong ibinigay sa iyo, sanang kunin mo lang ay kung ano yung sapat. Dahil kapag tayo yung nagiging gahaman, tayo ay nagiging garapal sa mga bagay-bagay na hindi naman talaga dapat para sa atin. Mapapagod at mapapagod ang ating Panginoon. At yun pong paalala sa atin. Sa unang bahagi, mapapagod at mapapagod ang ating Panginoon. Dahil siya din may dinadamdam. Pero anong tugon? Anong sagot? Magpahinga kahit konti. At itanong sa Panginoon kung anong dapat na gawin. Hindi lang tanungin yung sarili mo kung anong gusto mong gawin sunod. At tutugon ang ating Panginoon. Kaya nga'y pinapakita na maraming kailangan tugunan na pangangailangan ng iba. Pero kung may pagkakataon na ikaw ang lalapit sa Panginoon, kailangan may dala ka iyong talino, iyong talento, ang oras mo, ang galing mo. Dalhin mo, kahit konti, at pagpapalain ito, at tutugunan ng lahat ng iyong pangangailangan. Paminsan-minsan, mabibigyan ka ng labis, pero hindi mo kailangan kunin lahat. Dahil meron pang iba, na nangangailangan, na nagugutom. At sila rin ay may kailangang tugunan. At pag ginawa natin lahat yun, walang sino man sa atin na magugutom. Kapag hindi tayo naging garapal, pag hindi tayo naging ganib, walang magugutom, walang mga ngailangan. Dahil ang ibinigay sa atin ng ating Panginoon ay laging sapat, paminsan labis. At yun pong paalala sa atin. Magpahinga. Pero kailangan natin na tingnan kung ano ang misyon na ibinigay para sa atin ng Panginoon. Tugunan, mag-alay, at magkakaroon ka ng sapat. Please stand. Gathered like the crowds in the gospel and hungry for the word of God, we turn now with confidence to our Heavenly Father who never fails His people in their need. For every petition we shall answer, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church throughout the world may bear witness in word and deed to God's love and concern for the hungry and the needy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That world leaders and all who hold possessions of great power may help distribute the world's resources in such a way that no country may be in danger of famine. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That as a community, we may be men and women of prayer, 
and that we may be prepared to give of our time and talents to help those searching for the meaning of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick and the suffering may experience the sustaining love of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the faithful departed may enjoy forever the eternal banquet in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for our personal intentions. The intentions of this Mass for all those whom we promise to pray and the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, be mindful of us who are in need of your mercy. Fill our hearts with your love and never allow us to be separated from you. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, to enkindle our hearts with the celestial fire of your spirit, just as you granted that St. Alphonsus should celebrate these mysteries and by them offer himself to you as a holy sacrifice through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for as on the festival of St. Alphonsus, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answering to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim.
e w o r b i n g i n holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, light that will fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do these. In memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep. In the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray.
deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring its own life to us to receive it. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. And blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the blood and blood of Christ keep us safe to eternal life. Please stand. Let us pray. O God, who gave us Saint Alphonsus to be a faithful steward 
and preacher of his great mystery, grant that your faithful may receive it often, and receiving it, praise you without end. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagkikisa sa banal na misa. At patuloy po natin ipagdasal ang isa't isa. Mag-ingat po kayo sa pag-uwi. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Our celebration is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters, free them from all illness, and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that, in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, candles, oils, and images, and other religious articles, be blessed and be made holy in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh.